okay. Good afternoon and or good morning. Uh, thank you all for being here. As Boski said, we're the Vable team. Let's connect right now. I'm Victoria Grandery, uh, one of the product managers and co-founders of Vable based out of New York City, but today I'm calling in from Barcelona. And I am Tanico. I am a product manager and co-founder of Vable uh, from the island of Bermuda, currently in Silicon Valley. The product manager and co-founder of Team Vable. And we learned some amazing things from our mentor, Sundar Sankaran, who is a director of product at Gap based out of San Francisco. And we were assisted by Michael Levani, who is a no-code developer based out of Nigeria. Um, Victoria Tanico and myself, we have a couple of things in common. We all have moved around quite a bit in our life. We've made connections around the world and we all share the same struggle. We can't keep in touch with our loved ones. Now, it's not uncommon that we find ourselves with missed calls that pile up or messages that we need to reply to or have to have struggle with time zones where my grandma calls me from India at 2 a.m. and I have to decline her call or that we have some days where we just don't want to connect with anybody. So we went out and asked 150 people a bunch of questions and figured that 62% actually also have struggled to maintain meaningful relationships and would like a solution. All of that made us conclude to the following problem statement that adults aged between 26 and 35 struggle to find time to connect with their friends and family in real time. Now, while designing a solution for this problem statement, we had another busy bee in our mind. Anna is a UX designer in San Francisco and she has friends and family scattered across the globe. Her daily schedule is really unpredictable. She has a couple of goals. She wants to connect with her family and friends. She loves to be in the present moment and maintaining those relationships should feel effortless and spontaneous. But while doing so, she faces a couple of challenges. Finding the time to connect is one of them. Her emotional availability is not always predictable. That's the second one. And then her final challenge is async communication. She really enjoys to be in the moment, so she likes real-time communication. So our solution uh, for Anna is Babel. Uh, Babel is an app that helps millennials who struggle to find time to connect with their friends and family. Uh, when they are ready to chat in real time, they can go online, um, see which one of the loved ones are also available and start a conversation. Uh, for our product demo, we're gonna, we have Victoria, who's in, on vacation in, in Barcelona. She's in a coffee shop. She's going to go ahead and log in um, and go online to see who's available. She sees that man previous there, so she's going to click. It's going to take her over to WhatsApp so she can start a conversation. She decides to give man a, a video call. And everyone, say hello to man -Preet. Now, in our competitive landscape, we do have other um, communication apps like the phone call or email. There's also social media like Instagram, Snapchat, and WhatsApp, as well as some business developed products like Slack and Teamco. However, we feel that our competitive advantage is that we are focused mainly on signaling when users are available to connect in real time. Uh, we have a free, simple, and secure signup process and we're available on web. So that means that we can be utilized across any device. Now, some of our key outcomes from our launch, uh, we did discover that our user conversion rate is below expectation. However, that means that we just need to collect more data to remove some of the friction points in user onboarding. Um, our MVP is missing some of the key features due to feasibility and scoping issues, um, but we're gonna conduct a post-mortem to reprioritize our MVP roadmap. Talking about the roadmap. So as you can see, we're in Q2, we've just released our MVP, which enables users to go online, invite their friends and have a one-on-one -on -one conversation. Later on in Q3, our expectation is to tackle uh, two features that we had to deprioritize um, that will help with adoption and engagement. Um, so adoption, the invite contacts, having being able to do it in an automated manner um, so that there are more users on the platform and that contacts as a user, you have more of your friends and family online quickly. 
The one about engagement is the push notifications. So when people come online, that you're made aware as a user that some of your friends or family are online um, for you to engage with them if you didn't remember to come onto Label. Q4 um, is going to be a quarter more about customi customizing the experience. Um, it may change based on you know, postmortems and the way Q3 goes. All in all, we're trying to also integrate with the most used messaging platforms that are, um, that are leveraged by anyone these days and also keeping security in mind. So key learnings, it's been 10 crazy weeks. Our first learning is life happens. Some of us have gotten sick. Some of us have had to deal with job related um, issues. And all in all, what we've learned is when someone has to step out, the others have to step in. This leads me to my second point where over communicating is better than under communicating. When you got to step out, you have to let your um, teammates know what were your action items, where did you make progress um, and where they need to take over. And through standups and through asynchronous um, touch points, it's been super important for us, especially because we've been working across three, sometimes even four time zones. So some of us are awake and at times where others are sleeping. And then our last point is always maintaining a clear vision of the why. We've made a lot of decisions in the last 10 weeks. Um, and every time we have to go back to our users and their pain points about why we've decided to build a certain feature, why we're picking a certain persona, um, because we have to come back to our problem. Thank you everyone for listening to us. Um, we'll be open to questions. <laughs>